Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's video. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. Uh, it means the world to me when you guys tune in and have hit that subscribe board. As of this recording, I've noticed I've got 218 subscribers. That's a massive feat to have here on YouTube for me. Um, obviously, when I do my Blu-ray haul videos, but that's James. James, if you are watching this, don't message me just yet. Let me get through my list because obviously I've mentioned this that I will be writing a list of my first part. Surprisingly, surprisingly, how much I've actually remembered. There may be a part two to this. I don't know yet because I may have missed a few things, or in fact, obviously, as I've written these, I may have put some in the wrong section where I wanted to put them. But end of the day, it is the best that I can do for you guys. Obviously, all locked up from memory towards you guys at home so if you want to do this my first list you're more than welcome to it'd be nice to see your firsts no i don't mean when you lost your virginity that does not count or when you watch the first ever porn movie that doesn't count okay get a pen and a piece of paper you may laugh at some of these sections but quite honestly remember i'm the age of going on 38 years old so you can understand the test of time with certain things. I'm not old and gained dementia and all that lot, but it's just surprisingly how much I actually remember. The first, my first movie I ever loved was in fact Cocktail. The only reason why I'm saying that one, Tom Cruise can't get any more better than that at the time period. The soundtrack captivated me. Obviously, I still need to buy that on CD. I would love to buy some movie soundtracks, and that's on top of my list, including Top Gun, with mo first movie soundtracks I'll ever buy. I haven't bought any towards my collection, but at some point I do hope to do that in the near distant future. But end of the day, the reason why I love that movie so much is because the reason why I got into the bar industry in the first place. As soon as I turned the age of 18, I applied for my first ever nightclub job in my city, Got it when I was plastered on an interview. Yeah, I was celebrating my 18th birthday and I got an interview on my 18th birthday. Word that one out. Boy, don't times have changed now. You've got to put a good impression and show your identification before you get an interview. So that just shows you how much times have changed since obviously I got my first ever bar job. And I've never looked back since. First ever VHS I bought. Do you know the old... Invention that used to slot in, get chewed up now and again was look who's talking. Yeah, looking back on that, I wish I still had that. I wish I have it on Blu ray, but I know it's on Blu ray release, but still not got around to buying that on my collection. But you look at the cast of actually had on that. When you look at the likes of Bruce Willis, what he's done throughout his career, very underrated actor. Yeah, fair enough, he's known for his acting roles from Moonlighting towards, obviously, his uh, Dio trilogy. Well, quality, if you want to class it as that. I think there was five films in total. But he's not that much known for the lesser roles when he did, like, comedies towards, obviously, the likes of... Um, the voiceover of Mikey, and I was I, I first ever watched it. I thought it was a kids' film, um, but turns out to be a 15, so I couldn't buy it until the age of 15. As soon as I turned 15, I actually bought that when I had my birthday money. So to add that into my collection, yeah, I collected VHS was back in the day. So there you go. There's something for you. First ever DVD I ever bought was obviously the Back to the Future trilogy because i hold that dear to my heart still to this day um the trilogy mind you because i've already got it on blu-ray so there was no point in keeping the uh, dvd things first ever blu-ray that i ever bought was actually the lampoons national lampoons uh, vacation box set where you've actually got a christmas vacation european vacation um vegas vacation i forget the um where they go to Wally World, and I think that's just like vacation. There's four films in that set. The th fourth one, if I remember rightly, right, was just a TV movie, so you can't be a bit of Chevy Chase when you look at back at the greats of comedy, and he's one of my favourite comedies. Comedian, sorry, so I had to get that on Blu ray. My first ever science fiction film, believe it or not, it weren't um, Back to the Future franchise, it was Earth Girls Are Easy, because I'm. 
I was obsessed with Jim Carrey after seeing him in, in Living Colour. And quite honestly, I looked at his back catalogue uh, towards his movie, movie career. And obviously, back then we didn't have the internet. And obviously, I came across it. And that was actually my first ever science fiction film, technically, I ever watched. First ever chick flip was obviously Grease. Says the bore me to shit with that. Um, first ever thriller I ever watched was Silence of the Lambs. If you want to class it, I think it's a psychological thriller. If you want to class it that more than a horror, it's still cr- it's still creepy as anything. First ever horror, my first ever horror was obviously Nightmare on Elm Street Part Three. I think it's Dream Warriors, what they called it. Still test test of time towards that. Didn't mind the remake in 2010 of the first one. It was more in depth story, more than obviously focusing on what was the landscape of Rob England, what he legendary known as. When you obviously look back at that, I still think it's underrated to a point, but some things they could have improved on to make it stand out more than just being a reboot. My first ever musical, Grease. Said my reason for that. Um, what was it first ever biopic movie, which is a biography towards obviously a certain celebrity was uh, La Bamba, and funnily enough, I recently bought that onto um, Blu-ray within the past couple of weeks. So if you look out for my past uploads, you'll actually see where. Um, my first ever UK sitcom that I ever watched was uh, Love by Neighbour. I'm not going to explain the story to that. You need to look it up. You will actually understand why. Because obviously the era that I was ever... What era that I was brought up with. With obviously that running rife and everything. But still, to this day, holds the humour towards it. But obviously you know full well it can easily offend people. That's why I see that not being repeated. As well as obviously the likes of uh, In Sickness and Health, etc. Like that. Then, where are you? My first ever film that I ever seen in the cinema was White Fang. Very good Disney movie. I think Christian Slater was in that one or was he in one that was similar to it? I can't remember who was in it, but that was my first ever film that I ever seen in the cinema. Um, my first ever action movie that I ever watched, Total Recall. I can remember even watching it underage. I can remember going to the playground bragging about number three. If you know what I mean. That's still the iconic scene. And people still to this day. At my age probably still talk about that. If that was out today. I didn't mind the remake of Total Recall. But it's not compared to the original. Uh, My first ever Disney movie that I ever watched. Funnily enough it wasn't an animated one. It was Double Switch. It's similar to based on uh, Prince of the Pauper. But it comes to... um, where he trades places with a pop star that he looks like him and sounds like, not doesn't sound like him. It, it's on, if I remember rightly, it's on the Disney Club range and it's very expensive on eBay. I think you only could get it on the DVD version. I don't recall them releasing it on a Blu ray version. The last time I seen it, it goes for about 50 to 60 pounds. That's, that's including, um, I think that was excluding shipping when I last saw it on eBay. They are very expensive. They need to put these movies on the uh, Disney Plus for me to watch. Yeah, fair enough, you got the 90s range, but you haven't got the likes of the 80s or the 70s, etc. You know, because of fans like myself all my own re watching those. Or unless they release the Disney Club movies like they've got on eBay that not just to release them in America they shouldn't release them in the United Kingdom you know because people like myself as a movie collector wouldn't mind collecting those I know a few of you guys have already got the Disney Club range but I digress on that first ever martial art movie I ever watched was Kickboxer with Jean-Claude Van Damme or Jean-Claude Van Damme still iconic for many many reasons that's what made me fall in love with his films and everything so going forward obviously on that um first ever sitcom usa cheers i can remember still watching that uh my first ever 
UK stand-up comedian that I ever loved, Tommy Cooper. Um, first ever TV show, this was actually a tale between so many, because I obviously, I can't remember which one I watched first, but I can remember still watching these, like, religiously. There's actually quite a few on this list. Top of the list was obviously, in no particular order, but top of the list I put Knight Rider. Who else doesn't like Knight Rider? If you've never seen Knight Rider, worth watching. Then I had Match of the Day, for obvious reasons, because I'm a Man United fan. And when they used to have uh, matches on normal uh, terrestrial TV, more than these pay TV channels like BT Sport, Amazon Prime, Sky Sports. Obviously when football season's on, but obviously because of what's happened, there's no football. Then obviously I had professional wrestling for obvious reasons that I talk about obviously still to this day on my other channel. Incredible Hulk. That I used to watch that religiously. I forgot to put A Team on there. And then I watched uh, Baywatch. Then later on, shortly after when Baywatch finished, I think I got introduced Hazard into the late 80s or 90s. No, in the 90s, I think I got introduced Hazard. I remember catching a glimpse on that, but never got into it until a later age. So, it says what it is. Okay, next thing on the list was my first ever CD that I bought, Vanilla Rice album. Don't crucify me that it was 1992 and then that came out, if I remember rightly. First ever time I cried over a movie, someone asked me, was Pearl Harbor recently, but that bought that on Blu-ray. Yep, volunteers once again over that. My first ever trilogy, um, Back to the Future trilogy. I love that, then uh, Close with um, The Godfather. Surprised I didn't include that as well. I've just remembered that, so I do apologise. Um, my first ever comedy that I ever watched, like movie wise, was Home Alone. Proper nostalgia that was. First ever movie that let me down. All I can remember is I Told You, what I bought recently. Can't think of any other films on, on offhand. Wait a minute. I remembered one, Eyes Wide Shut. I didn't like it when it first came out, but I've grown to like it because obviously liking Tom Cruise films. Um, my first ever gangster movie, The Godfather. Then I watched that underage as well as obviously the likes of The Craze um, by obviously Martin Kemp and Ross Kemp. I think not Ross Kemp. That's from, him from EastEnders. I do apologise, Martin Kemp. You know from Spando Ballet. What's your uh, director's got if you ever get that? There's more detail to it than meets the eye. I first ever watched that when I accidentally stayed up um, late one day when I was little. Um, I was obsessed with watching films ahead of my time. Um, first ever war movie that I ever watched. I think it was Hope and Glory. I really wish that was on a Blu-ray release. If, if anyone's seen the trailer, look it up, Hope and Glory. You might find it on YouTube. You'd be surprised how many old trailers that you find on YouTube that I wish there was actually a Blu-ray release of, especially like sort of Gladiator. Not the uh, Knights one. I'm on about Cuban Gooding Jr., the boxing movie. I know, as far as I know, you can actually buy it to watch it on YouTube, but it would be nice if that was on a Blu-ray release because, honestly, there's so many films out there that... Haven't had a DVD release, only been on VHS, and let alone not even on a Blu-ray release itself. So, my first ever comic book movie, because quite honestly, uh, silly as it sounds, I don't class Incredible Hulk TV movies, the original TV series with the movies, I didn't class them as uh, original um, movies to watch, uh, to captivate myself to watch the likes of Marvel and DC, the one that really struck me to watch, and I didn't realise it was a comic book movie, I used to think there were people that was into comics with nerds and geeks, you know, for that time period, but the only thing that really caught my eye was Blade with Wesley Snipes, first ever actor I liked, I've already mentioned him, Tom Cruise, uh, first ever stand-up from the United States, 
was Eddie Murphy. Do I need to say any more? I shall. First ever cartoon that I ever watched was uh, Teenage Mutant, Mutant Hero Turtles. The reason why is because of the name change. If you ever watched the documentary Turtle Battle, I advise it. If you're into turtles, you would understand why they had a name change. And because obviously it was the word ninja. Now I think they use it left, right and centre, but it was so PC back then. I think it was an offensive term. People would have mistaken it for something that was racial. I think that's the reason why they didn't use it. That's why they called it Hero over here in the United Kingdom. And I think in Ireland, etc. had that as well. First ever kids movie that I ever watched. To Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the old film version. I still tried to get hold of that last week on Blu-ray with the other two films like Secret of the Use and I forget Turtles in Time. I think that was the third movie. I could be wrong of the title, and that was that was a trilogy box set. I was trying to get for five pound or less towards my five point or less challenge. So, but it's very hard to get those really cheap. Uh, I was on my final day. I think I got it for. Th- I was going to get it for three pounds. Then all of a sudden the bids went up, 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 and it went up to about fourteen pounds, which is absolutely ridiculous to say. I was actually. I think it was the final hour when it went up. But that's. I think that's what I can actually give you guys on my first list, James. If you're watching this, I hope. Hope. You do a list as well. I'd love to see that because this was sort of inspira- inspiration, inspiration, inspired. That's the word I'm looking for. Inspired by your when you were talking about Demolition Man on your video. But I hope you understand the reason why I've done this video. So I hope you guys think of your first. If you do videos, I would love to hear your first towards obviously. Nothing sexual though, but what I'm saying is it'd be nice to hear your thoughts and opinions towards this very upload. But I hope that is breaking it down. Maybe a part two. I don't know. It depends how much I actually remember or don't remember. But I was surprised how much I did remember giving out today. But anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for tuning in and give us a like button and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be in and updated anytime when I do any videos for you guys on this channel. And thank you ever so much for the 218 subscribers that I've actually gained on this channel in a shorter space of time. God, thank you enough. Until next time, guys, catch you guys soon.